This is a review of the batch hyperlink from the webinar batch automation in Bluebeam Review. Uh, here's the process we'll be looking at, batch hyperlink. It can be used in plan sets, in multi-documents, in studio projects if you check it out. It cannot be used in studio sessions and review extreme is required. So it's here, batch, link, new. Notice how you can open them. We'll go over that in a second. We can choose files or folders. I right, will first deal with the page region, and then we'll come back and look at the options. And so I'm looking to hyperlink just the page number. Notice I could add additional prefixes or suffixes. Right, so in settings, I get to look for the search terms in the file in the documents by filter first start end. Notice here it gives me also the preview of what I'm going to see. I'm okay with that. Link options here says I can look for whole words. Okay, sensitive. I can choose color. I can choose a line width, dash fill. Let's use fill. Fill and with that color. All right. So then if I want to save all batch link settings as an XML, I use save config. If I just want to save the search terms and the destinations as a CSV, I choose export. Those are the other options here. But we right now want to generate. It's looking for the search path for actions. It's auto scanning all the folder sheets, gave me them all, said what they would find, run. Now it's creating the hyperlinks as we go along. And the more number of PDFs you have, the longer this will take. It says there's 27, didn't see any problems. Finish and close. That's done. So now let us open one of them. Six oh one as an example. And you can see here. There, it's created a fill. Click on that, and it hyperlinks to where it's supposed to go. That's a quick overview. This is David Haynes, ID8, Bluebeam Review.